Let's cover the Major League Baseball rule changes as it pertains to extra innings this year. Now, keep in mind that these changes for extra innings are for the regular season only, not for the postseason. So, in accordance with the minor league regulations, they've been doing this down in the minor leagues for several years. At the start of extra innings, the runner is going to be placed at second base. The runner is the player in the batting order immediately preceding the half innings leadoff hitter. Okay. In other words, it's a guy that made the last out in the last inning. Now, the exception to that is that if the pitcher is in the game, and remember now with the designated hitter, you've got to put the DH into the game to lose your DH and the pitcher has to bat. But in that rare instance that that may happen, you're going to see that Major League Baseball doesn't necessarily want pitchers to run the bases. So they're going to allow the the team to use the batter previous to the pitcher if he happened to be the guy that made the last out of the game. So uh, you can figure that out. But basically what we're saying here is the pitchers are not going to run the bases and the batter that made the last out the previous inning is going to be the batter placed at second base. Uh, it'll be up to the umpire uh, really to go over and make sure that the, the correct uh, runner is placed at second base. They've been advised by Major League Baseball to mosey on over to the dugout and make sure that the manager uh, puts the right guy in there. Don't let, don't wait for the team to make the decision. Go ahead and uh, kind of instigate that and say, hey, coach, uh, you're going to, or hey, manager, you're, you're going to put uh, this guy at second base, right? So um, any runner or batter removed from the game is ineligible to return. Of course, that's an OBR rule for a long time. And uh, we talked about the, the, the responsibility of the plate umpire. Remember this, however, that it used to be that there was only one lineup card on the field among umpires. The home plate umpire would have the official lineup card, you know, at the exchange of lineups in the beginning of the game. Well, now what you're going to see is there's going to be multiple lineups uh, cards handed out to different umpires. So there will be at least be one other lineup card out there so that the home plate umpire has a little backup check to make sure they don't get this rule wrong. If an improper runner is placed out there and then is noticed at a later time by the umpire or the manager after the play has commenced, he shall be replaced with the proper runner and all plays made will be legal unless a batting out of order situation nullifies that. Uh, so basically it's not a do over, but it's, uh Oh, we made a mistake. Let's get the right guy out there. And normally it'll be the opposing, uh, uh, coach or a manager that will see that, but I doubt that you're ever going to see that happen. There's going to be so many eyes on this uh, that it's going to be pretty straightforward. And of course, there's no penalty if an improper runner does get out there and he actually scores a run. So those are the extra inning rules right there. It ought to be very interesting. We're certainly not going to go deep, deep, deep into the night playing 18, 19 innings when you place a runner at second base. The unofficial interpretation of Major League Baseball's Rule Changes for 2020. I'm Chris Welsh for Baseball Rules Academy.